Hello everyone. Today we are going to demonstrate one of the major function of DTS. DTS is Alibaba Cloud Data Transmission Service. So data synchronization is one of the major function of DTS. In today's demo, I'm going to do the following steps. At the very beginning, I will create two MySQL RDS instances. I will name it an RDS A and RDS B. Then I will create one new database and insert 1,000 lines of data into the table called infer on RDS A. Then I will set up the data synchronization task between RDS A and RDS B. So because the task was done and the data will be automatically synced from the RDS A to RDS B, so we will check the result that the database schema and the data in the database we created in RDS A was automatically synced to RDS B. Then I will add 1,000 more lines of data into RDS A, and we will definitely check the new data again was synced up to RDS B immediately. So here is my Alibaba Cloud console. And I said, uh, since we are going to create two RDS instance to save more time, I already created them here. So one is called syn Synchronize DTS A, and another one called uh, DTS Synchronize B. So both of them are MySQL uh, database. I also have one uh, ECS created. Why we need this ECS? Because I want to automatically generate some data in the RDS A. So I use a little bit uh, Python scripts to do the data generation. If we go to the two RDS instance, so this one is the RDS A. And if you already are uh, very familiar with the RDS product, uh, we are using this internet address to be able to access to the database. And in the RDS A, I already created this database called the demo on the bar DTS on the bar sync. So I'm going to create some data into this database. This is my ECS terminal. I already have one uh, very simple Python script was here. So you can just show it here. Uh, this is my RDS A uh, internet address. And this is a username and password and the database we want to access with. So the script is just to repeatedly for 1,000 times to insert some random data uh, into the database. So you can see we are trying to insert data into this table called infer. And I also connect to the two database here. Uh, to be more clear, I can uh, exit and show you uh, this one. So this is my uh, RDSA and uh, this one is my uh, RDS. RDS B. So in the RDSA, I can show uh, databases. There's one database here, right? We can use it and show tables, but we got nothing uh, from this table, right? And I can use this script to generate 1,000 lines of uh, data into that table. So we just call the script directly. And now if you go here and select again, right, there will be uh, 1,000 uh, data generated. So what we are going to do is, again, uh, from RDSB, you will see now there's no such kind of uh, database, right? So the first step we are going to do is to create a synchronized task between the RDSA and RDSB. Once the task was completed, you will see all the tables and the data will be synchronized automatically to the RDSB. Okay. 
Now you see we have the two database ECS. Let's go to the data transformation console. And I said DTS is one of our major products to serve the data migration, data synchronization. So here the three major items of the from the menu. Uh, migration is one of the major function. Subscription, I will introduce in another demo. And today we are going to show you how to do the data synchronization. So the first thing uh, we're going to do is to create a synchronized this task. Uh, usually, uh, we will lead you to the console to purchase um, a very small uh, instance to do the uh, temporary uh, job. So when you click Data Synchronize, we lead you here. Uh, my source instance is MySQL. Uh, I won't want to change it and choose the Singapore. And my target is also uh, MySQL. Uh, target is Singapore. I will use a very small, to save money, I will use a very small uh, specification for the instance, temporary instance. Then I can see by now. Okay, let's go back to the console. We can refresh here. Okay, so one of the tasks is trying to be uh, initialized. Let's close this window. So now we have uh, one instance or task name uh, created. Then we need to set up the source and the destination uh, instance. Uh, the source is RDS, definitely, and the instance type is, let's say, I want to copy from A to B, but you need to also tell him uh, the username and password. The target is, um, let's make sure it's B, okay, and username, password, then we click the authorize. Okay, because the source database was successfully connected, so you can see the database I want to uh, to, to, to synchronize to the target database. So I can click this one and move it to the target. Then I can go to next. They will run some pre-check. So here I uh, mark uh, both of them to do the structure synchronization and also the data synchronization. Then we do the pre-check and start the task. Okay, the pre-check, success. It takes a little bit of time uh, to finish the task. If you re keep refreshing, you can see uh, there's something uh, new data showing here to tell you the progress of the synchronization task. You see, uh, they were working on it. Let's go to the console to see if anything changed. You see, the database is began to be uh, synchronized. We can even uh, use demo DTS sync right. uh, 
still working on it. As they now they are actually begin to transfer the data into the target database. Okay, this is changed to uh, 1,000 rows down. So they may uh, doing some finalized work. Okay, now and I already did. Uh, you can see all the data is coming up and uh, select home. So all the data was uh, synchronized to the database, database B. Now both of them has the similar data, right? What we are going to do is I'm going to generate uh, some new data again for 1000 lines. So here, let's select. Now we have 2,000 lines. How about the database B? Right, the data was quickly uh, synchronized uh, from the database A to database B. So, which means uh, now, from now on, uh, anything you write to the database A, it will be synchronized uh, to database B. Okay. Okay, so here, um, this is what we uh, had done for this demo uh, to quickly recap, right? Uh, we set up a task between the two database for the data synchron synchronization. Uh, for anything you read to the database A, uh, they will sync to the database B immediately with a very, very few uh, uh, time latency. Okay, thank you very much. and. Uh, also, you can see here, you can pause the synchronization. Okay, now let's say, how about you write something again for the database A. Now we have, we have 4,000, right? But how about B? Okay, there's nothing with sync, okay? So it's a quite uh, easy to use and a very useful uh, feature. Uh, hope you enjoyed this demo. Thank you very much. See you next time.